Hello all. So, in the last few sessions we were discussing about how do we process sequential data that is text using RNNs. So, today in this session we would like to discuss about, I would like to discuss about two more important different architectures of RNN which are multi-directional and bi-directional RNN. Okay. So, when we have looked into the basic architecture of RNN, we have seen that RNNs are powerful tools for building NLP applications because most of the NLP applications deal with processing natural language that is text data and the text data is processed in a sequential order. So, for processing the sequential data, we use recurrent neural networks and this was the basic architecture that we have discussed in the earlier classes wherein we give the particular sentence wherein after we give the sentence as input, we perform word tokenization. Each and every word will be given to the update function wherein each and every word would be updated and finally, we would be getting the state as the output. Okay. Apart from this, we have also seen how do we use this particular RNN for sentence classification task wherein once a sentence is given as input, we get only one output saying the output is positive, negative, the output is good, bad or etc. How do we classify? For example, email classification, spam, not spam. Okay. So, this is how we use RNN architecture for sentence classification. We have also seen how do we use the same RNN architecture for sequential labeling. When we talk about sequential labeling, we take each and every word and instead of getting one output at the end as like sentence classification, here for sequential labeling, we have corresponding states as output for every word. And we have also seen the two most important tasks of sequential labeling are POS tagging and NER. So, POS tagging was the topic which we have discussed in the last session wherein we have discussed what is POS tagging, how is that useful and how do we generate POS tagging using libraries, right. So, sequential labeling, uh, POS tagging is one of the important task of sequential labeling. So, this is what we have seen in the last classes. How do we use, this is basic RNN, how do we use RNN for sentence classification and how do we use the same RNN architecture for sequential labeling. Okay. Now, today in this session, we would like to discuss about two important modified architectures of RNN which are multi-layer and bi-directional. So, first let us start with multi-layer RNNs. Okay. So, basically when you see RNN architecture as a black box. Okay. So, basically it is a neural network structure that converts one sentence into another sequence of vectors. Okay. So, when I talk about first sequence of vectors, I call them as word embeddings and after this, I take this sequence of vectors that is word embeddings as input and convert them into another sequence of vector which are nothing but hidden states. Right. So, when I talk about this input and output sequences, they are of same length because if I have 10 words in the input, I am generating 10 NER for that particular or 10 POS tags for that particular sentence, right. So, the number of input and output sequences are of same length, usually the number of input tokens, okay. So, when I talk about this particular thing, I say you can repeat the same process that is the encoding process multiple times. And how do I do that? I do that by stacking one RNN layer upon top of another RNN. That is the outputs of that is the hidden states of one RNN becomes the input to the another. So, as you can see, this is the bigger neural network formed by using two substructures. So, hence I call this as two layered RNN. When I, when I talk about multi-layer, I may have two, three, four or n. Okay. So, here I call this particular bigger neural network as two layer RNN architecture. Okay. Now, as you can see a substructure of a bigger neural network is called as layer. So, this substructure is called as one layer upon which I am stacking another layer to form this bigger neural networks. Okay. So, we can stack them together to form n number of layers. Okay. So, this is a simple example of two layered RNN architecture. Okay. Now, when we think of a layer of RNN as a machine, okay, that is if you consider the single layer of RNN as a machine, it takes something as input which are nothing but word embeddings and extract some abstract concepts. That is when I, when I talk about this, it takes this word embeddings. When I apply POS tagging, it generates POS tags. When I go for NER, it generates entities, name and entities, right. So, the input here is the word embeddings and the output here 
is termed as the abstract concepts which may be POS tags or which may be NER named entity recognition ok. So, what we can expect is that by repeating this process if you are putting one layer upon another layer RNNs are able to extract increasingly more abstract concepts when you increase the number of layers. So, it is not theoretically proven, but many real world applications use multi layer RNNs to improve the accuracy ok. So, I generate POS stacks and I stack upon another layer and I regenerate the POS stacks with which the accuracy would be improved. The same thing the same concept we use in ANNs more number of hidden layers we add more good the result is. When we talk about CNN more layers we add more pixel by pixel in depth resolution of the image would be red and the output would be more predict uh, output prediction would be with good accuracy ok. So, this is about multi layer RNN. Now, let us talk about bidirectional RNNs ok. So, we have seen in the previous architecture we have been feeding words to RNN as they come in right. So, we are feeding the words in the sequential order as they come in ok. So, that is only unidirectional ok. So, from the beginning of the sentence to the end we try to feed the words as they come in in the sequential order which means that RNN is processing a word wherein only the information it has encountered so far is considered from the words left to context from left to right we process the words right. Now, we have this another architecture which is called as bidirectional RNNs where I have two layers. The first layer is called as forward layer where I take the words in the sequential order and use the update functions and, and I stack upon this backward layer wherein I process the words in the reverse process ok. So, I have forward layer and backward layer and upon this we again collect the states add linear layer and if it is POS tagging or if it is NER depending on how what kind of application you are using we will put those top layers for this particular architecture ok. So, basically the bidirectional RNN solve the problem by combining two RNNs in uh, opposite directions ok. The forward RNN is forward facing ok. So, it scans the input from left to right and uses the input word and all information from left to right. Whereas, in backward RNN it scans the input from right to left and scans the same sentence again and again ok. Now, we have seen multidirectional RNNs and bidirectional RNNs. We can also combine these both ok. Now, as you can see in this figure this is one bidirectional RNN this is another bidirectional RNN. So, I am stacking one layer of bidirectional RNN upon another layer of bidirectional RNN. So, this is multi layered bidirectional recurrent neural networks. So, depending on the application we use, depending on the context of you know data that we want to process, we use either simple RNN architecture, multi layer RNN wherein you can use two layers, three layers, one layer stacked upon another. You can use bidirectionality and also you can combine multi layers bidirectional recurrent neural networks ok. So, this is all about the uh, bidirectional ok. So, basically forward and backward stacked upon one another ok. So, with this we are done with different architectures of RNN which are bidirectional and multidirectional. Thank you.